hi and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be making some decals for my nails these are the instructions basically you print it off spray off your design with acrylic sealer cut it soak it in water and then slide onto whatever you want your decal to be onto your product um, this is what the paper looks like. It's kind of like photo paper. It's a little bit stiffer and has a glossy finish. This is my design. I decided to do the Dior logo. Print it off on my cheap old inkjet printer. This is what they look like. I decided to go with a French pink base, a little bit sheer. Um, here I decided to use a top coat and then cure instead of spraying the varnish, uh, the, sorry, spraying on the acrylic, just because I didn't want the fumes in this small room at night time. So this was like my first experiment, just thought I'd see if it works and ta-da, it works. The decal is quite rigid, as you can see here. But the issue I had here was that it wouldn't stick to the nail. So I decided to put a layer of gel on the nail just so it has a tacky layer, something to stick to. Uh, it would sort of not go around the curves because it's quite rigid. So there's these little bits that were sticking up. I just cured it anyway and I figured I would do another layer of gel to sort of encapsulate it. See, I'm getting the gel in between the decal gaps. Um, and then I tried to build a bit more of an apex and smooth out that flat top that was caused by the decal. Okay, so I'm just curing it here for a few seconds, flash cure really, and then I'm using my e-file, filing it down, getting a nice apex shape, making it nice and thin around the front and around the cuticle area, uh, so it has a more natural finish. It's actually looking really good here, I was impressed. And then after that, I just gave it another coat of gel to encapsulate any bits of decal that was um, that had been filed down and there was like the edge sticking up. Here I am again doing the top coat on the next decal. Just cutting it, soaking it for 15 seconds. And that's what it looked like. This was a lot easier doing it just on the tips because it didn't have to curve around the apex. Uh, there were still the stiff bits of the decal sticking out on the out of the edge of the nail that we needed to file down. Um, and then afterwards, I just did the same thing with gel, encapsulated it, and tried to make sure that I shaped a nice apex there. So yeah, just cured it and now I thought, all right, let's try using the acrylic sealer, like the way that you're supposed to use uh, water slide paper. I thought, whatever, I'll breathe in the fumes. <laughs> yeah, just snipping them up and doing the same thing. Basically, um, we're going to soak them for 15 seconds and I tried to pick it up and it couldn't be picked up. It was too soft. And malleable like kind of like a tattoo like uh, temporary tattoos um, so the best way to apply that I found was to press my nail into the decal that was on my thumb I thought I'd be able to slide it around and reposition it but I couldn't it was um, stretching and warping the logos so I realized I couldn't couldn't reposition afterwards and then this one I stuffed up a little bit. See how it's sort of stretching and warping the logos. I had to throw that one out. This one here. That one worked a bit better. So you just push the nail into the decal that was resting on my thumb. And that was the easiest way. 
and see there's no bits of decal sticking out on the edge it kind of just like sucks and wraps around onto the plastic of the nail um but yeah i'm really happy with how they look there's a little bit of like thumb print on there so after i do all of these i will um top encapsulate it with gel and that will help smooth out all of those sort of like lines and wrinkles that there might be on there um, yeah i'm pretty happy with them that's them uh after they've been encapsulated and they've got top coat put on them as you can see i've got that one spare nail that's going to be a feature nail because um i had to throw away one or two of the decals that i stuffed up but I decided to do a micro tip on this one. Micro French tip, I should say. So that looks cute. And then I was gonna do diamantes, but I decided to go with these um, silver bowls instead. I thought they were a little bit more, I don't know, a bit more edgier, a bit more modern. Um, so this gel that I'm using is a five in one, very sticky, thick, syrupy gel which is good for these bowls because it sort of, um, they won't slide around once they're on there. I can put them on, I can still slide them by hand to reposition them, but they won't just sort of like slowly fall off because um, it's a very thick, a very thick gel. And yeah, the tool that I'm using, I really love. It's a wax tip pen and the other side looks like the tip of a pacer as well, but that's for sliding around your embellishments. But yeah, I decided to go for this studded look. I don't know, I just was winging it and did whatever I felt. Here I'm just putting gel and then curing it. And I also top coated it, but I didn't film that. But that's the finished product there. If you liked these nails, please like the video, subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.